Hello everybody, I'm Raphael Perry and it's time for some more Baldur's Gate 3. Now, I haven't had very many opportunities to record videos recently and hopefully that will begin to change soon, but for now I'd really like to get back into this game tonight, play some more of it and have some fun. That being said, we may be about to get into so deep, deep trouble. Me. Our friend Karlak has been dragged away and imprisoned. I won't necessarily say wrongfully imprisoned. And we're clearly still experiencing slow loading graphics. Which is interesting. So I'm going to head downstairs. As this is likely to lead to the prisons where she has been incarcerated. Now. I want to say that the first time I came down here. This blatantly reminded me of raiding the bank vaults in Wizardry 8. Probably because the bank vault defenses, I can't remember if it was some kind of robotic sentries or summoned elemental creatures, but it, was, it wasn't normal regular living things that stayed down there, you know. Um, and it was a really tough fight. And I'm imagining with the obvious, you know, Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to sneak. And we're going to sneak up on this sleeping person and see if we can a little chicanery. blatantly steal a key to the door. Oh, they are sleeping deeply. was not a six. Come on now. Then we're going to commit a second crime. Now, Astarian, don't make me regret this. And mind the luck. Okay, that's not good. Whatever it was, it was a person. Okay. Yeah, stay. How far? Good. Now, you know something. How far does that stretch from that? Okay, no, so that is a good hiding spot. And if we just become invisible... And then sneak. Mate. He's invisible, you're not gonna see him. Silent is great. You might hear him though. And I don't know... What kind of invisibility this is, right? And that's actually a good talking point. If this is like Tolkien's invisibility, then you can still be detected because that invisibility, the invisibility granted to Bilbo by the ring in The Hobbit, does not conceal his shadow. It makes him physically invisible, but light still passes through him. So it essentially changes the edges 
Okay, that's just guards. Well, let's... Oh, God. Yeah, let's... Uh, play safe. Let's be quick. Okay. I see you. With pleasure. I imagine I don't have the relevant keys. Oh, wait. If you could just turn around and walk away, lady. Nothing to see here. Oh, this is going to kick off so badly in a moment or two. Oh, no, it's going to get even worse just right now. Like Yeah, don't want, don't want, if, don't mind if she sees me. With ease. Uh, we're all sort of rerolls, aren't we? But that's a good enough. Show. Okay. Yeah, just let me sneak into the cell first, okay? There we go. I can stop hiding now. Now. My dear friend, I don't know if you've noticed. Finally! Let's get out of here! Um... Have a steel watch made short work of you. We need to be more careful going forward. Those bastards are tough. I won't let that happen again. But I will stick something sharp in Gortash's heart the second it's safe to do. You'll help me, right? I'll make no such guarantee. Then you better be ready to see me run him through myself. I can live with that. Let's get out of here. Actually, could you get the boss in here to give me the go-ahead? Last thing I need is another enemy. Oh, you're kidding. Has oh, seen or heard? What I need. Well, that might not be an option now. You know what, just end the turn. No, that's completely understandable. Yep, there we go. Alright, and yeah. It's Probably shouldn't have opened the door. Ah, uh, fine. Let's go sneak attack this elemental. Come on now. So at this point. Okay, good. There's a long way to go still. Let's get her name. everyone. Heading on in. Because this is going to get serious. Um, some of you... I oh, know, I see everyone on initiative now, that's good. Grand. Um, who... Can't give you? Up. Okay. this right oh that's not good okay um hmm we could just enjoy the sneak attack or regain some health not much, but some. Imperial. 
This obviously did not work out as planned. Lovely. That actually worked once. That almost never happens. Oh, hello. Bad idea. The bad idea is we could banish for Fire Elemental. Uh-oh. And, oh no. I mean, she can't cast spells while she's angry, but she can still smite hard. Right then, you. We've got a number of different ways we can deal with this. Um... I mean... Ice... The Azer, that's like Fire Dwarfs, isn't it? Okay, so let's... We don't have a bigger elemental. So they're, they're only the half elementals. Wait, so what's missing? So that's fire and... No, they're just fire. Ice is air and water. Mud is water and earth. Steam is fire and air. Um, and what's the other one? Magma for fire and earth. That's it. So we're missing a couple of the lesser elementals. Um... Yeah, we could just drop this here and go you. We'll try. Look, sometimes things pass the saves, okay? It's fine. There we go. Don't like all these enemies being here, so we'll do something about it. was terrible. I'm ready. <laughs> so was that. Okay. Um, but we can... Oh, she's pretty healthy at the moment. You know there we go. Right. And of course the shields never get used. To defend. Okay, it's a start. Who did she? A Starion? Right, look, hang on a minute. We might just have some useful stuff here. That'll do. That's, cool. That's not banishment. She may have it. You know, when in doubt, go for good old reliables. Um, not that reliable, but worth a try. Okay.
I think I changed that spell selection. Sixty foot range. I think I'll try it. That is unfortunate. That is it. Oh, she is nasty. Right, okay. Whereas this is more of a useless. Oh, perfect. Uh, go level one. Why not? Right. It's getting dangerous in there. Right, okay. And she's getting angry. I see. That Crusader's mantle. That I want to know about. Nero Paladin's Holy Aura. Weapon attacks deal an additional 1d4 radiant damage. I say. You probably would need more levels for that sort of thing. Right, okay, let's just move on up here. Another step forward. Um Reserve Life, he's in range. You are starting to become annoying. That didn't quite work out as planned. I'm ready. You're next to two enemies. So you can get stabbed. Um, go free. Take two. And then while he's down, yeah, get the poison in there as well. Why not? Uh, wait. He, yes. Thing is, we're gonna get out of here. No. These are not villainous foes. Worthy of the righteous wrath of the heavens. They're good people. You know what? If we kill them, they can't say who did it. But if we let them live, then we are merciful in Karlak Prison. With us. Ah, uh, that can be a problem. Okay, well, while we can, I suspect. Um, where are we? Where are we? Does not say. Oh well. I'll take it. And you. Fair enough. Um, you know what? We have allies in need. And we shall recast Cold Lightning. 
slightly further away. This time. There we go. And offhand attack. Because we can. And this shall make things so difficult for us. There we go. And an off. Now then. It would be horribly unoriginal to do this. And you are casting lots of spells that would be very inconvenient for us. Apparently we're going to have to let you keep on doing that. What? Okay. Oh, is that it? Fine. You down to cantrips already? She's pretty healthy. She can fight. Not a problem. Oh. Okay, I think we come in here. Take some of the pressure off Astarian. Also. No, people are pretty healthy in this cell. Okay. Go for a big one. Ooh, not as big as we'd hoped. Okay. There we are. Let's turn someone inside out. Uh, steady on. And you as well. Interesting. What should I do? That seems like a fun reaction. Someone dumped wisdom to be a high intelligence character. Lacking little faith are we a bit too academic and smug, self centered. Okay, that's not good. So obviously, at this point, time to press ahead. We're going to come out to here. She's in range. There we go. Um, she's also in need. Go. Ah, come on, old woman. Don't keep struggling like that. Oh, have you lost the recast? I think you have. Okay. Let's have some courage. Right, look. You're surrounded, mate. And you ain't having a great time either. At this point. I have a sneaking suspicion we might want to inquire as to some of the other prisoners. Ow, that's a lot of damage. Okay. Yeah, if we drop the cast of the elemental, we may go, but we can also pummel the living shit out of it. Never 
wanted the easy path. This is going to end badly. Hello. Finally! Let's get out of here. Ah. <sighs> Those bastards are tough. I won't let that happen again. But I will stick something sharp in Gortash's heart the second it's safe to do. You'll help me, right? Unlike Astarian, Jaria does give her word on things like this. You have my word. Good. I'm going to hold you to it. Well... Let's get out of here then. Troops already full, so I'll head to camp. Try and work on a way to get at Gortash while I have the downtime. I'd like to point out, since Gortash said that one of our party members in camp is a doppelganger that we can't trust, having Karlak removed from a party and then rejoin it at this point would be a perfect opportunity to replace her with a doppelganger. Now, who are you? Oh, it's you! You're too late. It's over. Floric? Oh, what have they done to you? I don't speak of myself, High Harper. I speak of the city itself. We came too late. It's over. I don't understand. What do you mean? Isn't she supposed to be dead? Trying to walk through the shadowed lands without enough light. I came seeking allies to our cause. Watchers spotted me. Dragged me to Alder Ravenguard's husk. Empty as a stair. Uh, a tadpole's puppet. Oh, there's hope yet. Nothing more. He spoke in accusations. Apostasy. Conspiracy. Sedition. I'll be executed in five dawns. <laughs> the fists can go hang themselves. We're getting you out. I think we should get you out of here. Baldur's Gate needs you. Duke Ravenguard needs you. And look, this should be pretty straightforward. <laughs> We're good. When the people need a miracle, you cannot wait for the gods to answer. Older's words. I'd almost forgotten. No more sulking. I know what to do. Unlock my cell. Escort me out of Worm's Rock. Now escorting her I'll out of here is going to be harder. I'll seek out my connections. Harder. When the city streets shatter, you'll want their blades. Yes, we probably will. I'll find a way to get this door open. Astarian. Oh, what a day. Time for a little larceny, is it? I'll be a challenge. You know what? Just in case. You know, you could roll a one. On, like, everything. Highly unlikely, of course. Keep focused. We can talk once I'm free. Very well. I'm just glad I didn't need to let you know the door was open. Speaking of <sighs> focusing. Better than nothing. No one in here. There is someone in here. Who could it be? Otto Ott. We do not know this individual. He may be wrongfully imprisoned. He looks a bit old, maybe senile and untrustworthy. Moving in. Um, I think we're leaving. 
We shouldn't take anything from the guards we have incapacitated. Because beating them up was bad enough. We can atone for our sins at a... Oh great, Doorbug is back. At a later point. Speaking of later points, we'll have the entire upper floor to contend with. Depending on how this plays out. No overt hostility yet. That's why nothing's gonna happen to us. We'll just walk out casually at a brisk trot of people who run everywhere like headless chickens and run into ambushes because they don't know how to walk properly. Um I mean we got quest markers in that direction. I wonder if we could just head further in. Her connections are likely to be further in, so let's do that. As everything else lies out here. Also, we've got the whole funfair circus to possibly visit at some point. That we have been completely overlooking and neglecting. For now, though, this is a daring walking out the door, not even dressed as washerwomen escape. Yes, that's a Wind in the Willows reference. Think about it. This is far enough. The way should be clear. I can't thank you enough for getting me out of that damned prison and for giving me courage when I'd all but run out. Don't be so quick with your gratitude, Counselor. All we have done is send you back into the battle. And reminded me why I fight in the first place. Truly. Thank you. It's the least I could do. You've proven a vital ally. When the flames roared loudest, you pulled me to safety. Most would have let me burn. I won't forget it. I will travel to the upper city. Find what allies I can. You won't fight the coming battle alone. As long as the city stands, I will stand with it. This is my promise. It's interesting, she almost seems to that was very fast. Almost seems to have a furry texture on her skin. Which, as a, a creature of wood and forest, by nature, if not by upbringing, seems rather appropriate to her. What is... Oh, right, we can turn that off. Hopefully we won't be needing to do any damage for a little while. What is... Happy. It'll be unbearable. I am indeed going to go this way. I don't know if I'll be able to return. Or if this is like a story point of no return. It's probably not. And the city probably does have to be broken down into regions due to the sheer size of it. It occurs to me I haven't taken any good screenshots for the thumbnail. Hmm. In which case, I should play on and not just make this a rescue episode, although that would be a, a good focal point. Oh, load screen, why do you torment me so? It's not as if I'm playing... Oh, what was it? The Bard's Tale 4? The one with the incredibly long load screens before they fixed it. Good grief. I mean, they were long, weren't they? I mean, I think at one point there was like a 65 minute load screen. And no, I didn't record that one all, but it was bad. 
Are we about to be accosted in conversation? No, but we're going to struggle out of each other. What are these? All birds? Ooh, that is, um, that's an abuse of power. You must agree, this is ludicrous. How are we meant to survive without our livelihoods? My herd are dairy goats. I bet they're going to slaughter them, the poor things. Quite probably. Smuggling or any other... My husband's still in the outer city with the few cows we have left. How am I going to tell him we have to give them up? Mate, I don't know there. I'm, I'm in here. I'm not out there. Any complaints? Are they going to pay us for the animals they take? Like nope. cows they are. Move along. I've got my hands full enough without gawkers. Okay, we can't talk to him about it. Maybe I'll talk to someone else about it. What is this place? There's a post box. A very strange looking post box. Where we could post messages. Hello. Who are you? Wait. Basilisk gate. So I presume there are a number of themed gates breaking down portions of the city, separating them off from each other. Let's not interact with too many guards because we don't want to draw attention to ourselves after the daring rescue we've just committed. Especially with these gallows right here waiting for use. Edge. Oh. Uh, hello. Um, uh, hello. Does, uh, does anyone want to buy a gazette? I bought one recently and it may be the same. But sure. Do a little more confidence, by the way. Issue 88. Let's see. Eighty-six, so we've missed one. Interesting. Baldur's Mouth. Baldur's Gate Printing and Publishing Company established 1339 by the look of it. Edvard Needle, editor in chief. Price 2. Minor Quick continues to rattle nerves. Okay. Although we do see the cult symbol daubed on walls. And looks like one of those post boxes. Charesses Caresses' beloved stern librarian found dead in nearby Flophouse. Yeah, we kind of found that. Conflict between Arabellian nobles and cultists of Erdlin drags on. The Art of the Steel, Guild Whistleblower, speaks out, probably anonymously. After the Elturel disaster, how to ward your home against the Infernal. No herbal remedies, we promise. Lord Gortash to take hard stance on refugees. None welcome within Inner City. Because they could talk about his potential involvement with the cult. Not that most of them know about it. Baldurian tourists. Chults too humid and dangerous. Let's see this. Oh, hello. The stout and sturdy. Dwarfs. Adventurers want it for perilous and profitable quest. 
Master Loroakan, the arcanist of Afkatla, the recluse of Ramazif's tower, seeks brave and enterprising individuals to delve treacherous temple and recover storied artifact, the Night Song, for preservation in Baldur's Gate. Only stout of heart and keen of mind need apply. Fame, glory, and incredible fortune assured. Or an opportunity to shout, Open the bloody gate! As all your allies are getting beaten up and murdered. Yeah, he's still asking people about it. That did give us a journal update, bizarrely. What does the wizard in Baldur's Gate want of her, and does he know she is a person and not an object? We broke Karlak out of jail against our better judgement. Search for Silamiran. There may be someone here with the arcane knowledge needed to fully unlock the necromancy of Fey. In the Sorcerer's Sundry's bookshop, where we should take Gale. Oh. Floric Arabella. Um, maybe Halcyn. Volo. We don't have the most powerful allies in the world right now. We're probably going to need a lot. This feels very Dragon Age Origins, unfortunately. Oh, ho. you. I know you. How delightful to meet in person. Though, you're shorter than I expected. Oh, is she the woman who's the lover of the artist we rescued? I, I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage. I have no idea who you are. My name's Estraster, journalist. I speak to the people of Baldur's Gate so our readers don't have to. So your readers don't have to. Let me guess, you're an influencer shaping people's opinions so they don't have to come up with any of their own. You work for the Baldur's Mouth Gazette, I presume? You are quite correct. The best broadsheet around. I would certainly recommend picking up a copy in the near future. You are, after all, star of the next Baldur's Mouth Gazette. Oh dear, what have you been writing? And what's the headline of that edition? <laughs> if I told you, you'd lose the fun of reading it yourself. Exactly. It's our juiciest edition in an age, bound to get everyone talking about you. I'll look forward to reading it. I bet you do. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've really said rather too much and written rather too little. Good day. Yeah, get back to work. Don't be like those women on, on the internet who are like, this is my day at work, and then they showed off doing absolutely no work. Just snacking. Thank hell we made such good time. The army of the Absolute Ridge are back. Certainly encourages a brisk pace. It does indeed. Seems like a good moment to talk. Sorry about the pong. We've been on the road for more than a ten day. Wait. What was that accent? I didn't think there'd be so many inns here. We're spoilt for choice. Okay, so like Northern Irish or, or an Irish Scott hybrid. Those walls might slow the army of Don't get too comfortable. It's only a matter of time before the army of the Absolute gets here. A Roman dwarf in a medieval gambeson? Takes all sorts, I suppose. I cannot interact with this map. 
There we go. I can look at it. Scribe Goose Quill. Aoife Barlow. Aoife ba Isn't there a character called Eve Barlow in, like, Coronation Street? I think there might be. As a native of the city, we should probably know our way around. Still can't fathom that they hang folk in this city. Those gallows get more use than some temples. Every ten day, I write into the boulder's mouth about it, and every edition fails to mention it. Pathetic. I'm not going to discuss that with you right now. It's always hard to tell what the best punishment for a crime should be and how best to handle it. Hmm. Uh -oh. What's going on? I don't like this. I don't like the look in some of their eyes. I have a plan. One blow. One blow and she drops like she's dead. Maybe she is. Used to think those things were going to make me feel safer. Not anymore. Oh. Has the machine struck someone down? What did she even do? I bet nobody knows. I didn't see her do anything wrong. Okay, that's a man's voice. Scribe Goose Quill is suspicious. And I don't mean, oh, I think it might be a man dressed as a woman or something like that. It's more, there are doppelgangers around pretending to be people, and they might not be very clever, they might make mistakes. Unconscious. Well, hey. The citizen is unconscious and won't be waking up anytime soon. Even so, it feels like the right thing to do. Is to apply some here. Probably still unconscious, but a lot healthier. The citizen is unconscious. He won't be waking up anytime soon. I wondered if healing might have an effect. What is... That does not have a map marker. So let's head a little further. Hmm. So we have the editor. Murder to oh, we should absolutely warn those. But what will happen if we do tell them they'll panic? Caris, not Caris. Roy. Leave them to it. Let them enjoy their discussion. What, you mean... This one I'm just walking past now? We... 
I've got an inkling. Oh, maybe not upstairs, actually. Hello. Damn rats. Oi, you. I thought I asked you to clean the rats out of this cellar yesterday already. Hop to it. Get in there. Now, study on this isn't candle keep, you know. <laughs> Haven't I done this before, in another life, many years ago? Look, the rats aren't important right now. Your name is on a list of murder targets. You need to hide, and he's gonna be like, I got work to do right here. No, I need them rats taken care of. Here's the deal. I'll keep a lookout for murderers. You murder the rats. You know, he does seem rather insistent. And look who hasn't been murdering the rats recently. How would we... Right down there, I imagine. Look. Rovere burned the bullier base again. And now I have to scrub the pot. Some chef he is. <laughs> I wonder... If he's in hiding. Well... The cellars are just down the stairs. There, you'll find my old lodgings. And we have a spatula. We have a perfect reason to go down there as well. We've already been asked to. This time, would you believe? Oh, mate. This would so be Fireball Central. a witch oh hey look at this um it's like shooting fish in a barrel or rats in a trap um look at that I mean, yeah, you, you can all come uh, running through the flames if you want to. Wait, what's that? Oh, just a dead one. Overall, I'd say we're handling this quite well. I mean, they seem to be doing the job for us, but hey. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, that's going to be tricky not to waste the second attack. Ready. And finally... It's not that hidden. The mechanism to open it is somewhere among the wine racks. Well, guess what? We have someone with allegedly keen yeah. senses. Gale would be good for finding this. Look, just walk on the bloody floor, you idiot. On the other side, you'll find a passageway known only to those invited to do business. Yeah. Something over there. Oh, there we go. doing. There's a massive hole in the wall. This feels like we may be walking into a trap. Very well then. Uh, 
I don't trust the Emperor fully. Blackith has found us. Get rid of them quickly. Ah, right. Look, here's what we need to do. You know what we need to do. If it's a give Yankee hit squad, we know what needs to be done. Apparently, we're going to start with letting all this lot load in. The ever suspicious Yenna. You can stay there and think about what you've done. All the trouble you've caused me. This is the city proper, is it? I didn't expect it to be so outrageously... ordinary. <laughs> You better come with us. You're full up. Dismiss someone first. Guess what? Ready for battle. Absolutely. And I think you're going to enjoy this, lady. Oh shit, she's leveled. Um it's been a while, hasn't it? Okay. Cantrips, fairly minor stuff. She's already got Blade Ward. Um, um, she'd probably like that. Prevent a target from healing, though. She'd appreciate that. The cold touch of the astral. And we can get some high level spells as well. Acid Arrow? Yeah, she'd like that. Arcane Lock, Gust of Wind, Shatter, and some level 1 spells. Um, creatures made of inorganic materials such as stone or whatever it is those giant robotic things are made of have disadvantage on their saving throw. Okay. We've got a long road ahead. At the ready. Lazel, glad you could join us. The Kithraki have spread word of that artifact that you carry. Tell me, Lazel of Kalir, what reward do you think the Astral Prism will fetch once I pluck it from your corpse and present it to Vlakith? What honors, what riches will the Undying Queen grant me when I hand her the failed prince? Stand down. I protect the Prism on our Queen's behalf. The Undying Queen cares not for who delivers her the prism and the traitor prince within. All that matters is that it is delivered. The false heir's head will make a fine trophy for Vlakith. As for you, I will leave nothing behind but meat and shattered bone. Oh, this is going to be personal. Orpheus is the gift Yankee's true prince. You will not take him. Damnable whelp. For a thousand years I have given my life to Vlakith. I will deliver to her the prince of the comet. She shall exalt me. The gish will record my great deed in slate. Tamar Zala Vlakith! Oh, Harak. You have much to learn. All right. All right, let's do this. Range 30 feet. Okay, not quite that far. Um, let's see now. 
Hmm. Aberration, Celestials, Elementals, Fey, Fiends, and Undead. I suspect they do not fall into any of these categories. So. You know what? Quite right too. Never a dull moment. Oh, I think we know what's gonna happen here, don't we? Ready. Forward. Now then. We just go. Right. Yes, we can. Let's make it bigger. Yeah. Fine, that'll do. That's unfortunate. Here's what we are going to do. Oh, you don't even need to jump. Good start. And again. This is personal. So let it be personal. Excellent stuff. I mean, she's got way more hit points. Yeah, they're coming out the portals. Do the portals have hit points? These are things we need to know. Okay, that's not. That is a problem. And as we know, problems are just a solution in disguise. Or an opportunity in disguise. Rather. Now. No blessings, however. Hmm. Sixty foot, did you say? You can get that. That special ability has been used. There we go. Good start. War is an old woman's game. Well. Range is not our friend there. Um, better than nothing. Oh, 
Well, they're probably both concentration spells, aren't they? Fine. Hmm. Oh, that can't be good. Um, but she still seems to have good control of her senses. Well, that's terrible. We could just do this. And that is oddly silent. Ah, oh, come on, people. You're being silly now. Uh, fine, we can't remove all the conditions at once. Sure, that works. Again, our enemies are remarkably effective in their attacking. All right, here's what we need to do. If she's immune to being fright, no, she gained it from the spell. That makes sense now. Right. Um, you know what? Because we can. Now. Oh, look. You have unfinished business. Enjoy it. Death greets us all, but not today. You, on the other hand, are a nasty, horrible creature. As are these people up here, actually. Again. Oh. Into position. Hmm. Let's just hold back. Guess what? Vengeance is mine, saith the Lazel. Oh, it's happening. I'll piss off. You're only just going to make us want to kill you even harder. If we had Gale here, we'd throw some fireballs. Oh, fun! You really want to be next to someone who can hurt you, don't you? Fine, look, just... Low to no expectations, it's fine. Yeah, see, that's getting more serious now. Now these are an entirely different kind of rats down in the cellar. Disadvantage. 
Really? Blindness? Oh. Okay. Well, that's a really easy fix. And then we can throw in this as well. Excellent. Concentrate. Um. Yummy, yeah, mean, she can just do the fighting right there. Okay, awesome. And you can take some damage. It's fine. Yeah. Gotta hit some of the spells, really. You know, I don't think Lazelle has missed a single attack on this target. And she doesn't intend to start now. Nice. Those can go for later. Um, it's sproying up there. Not a bad idea, to be honest. I mean, it's pretty daft, but there we go. By all means, come to us. I don't know if she can strike at the portal itself. Okay, Gate Masters it is. Got it. We'll just keep on trying for a bit. Our vine's been getting some pretty good rolls. Oh, you poor fools. They are inviting their own doom. Jahira really needs some better equipment. Look, it's something, okay? Can't afford to let up. And then Oh. I would love to cast Spirit Guardians and rush at these two. But that would lower the Shield of Faith on Lazelle. So instead, I should really stop attacking these with weapons. Okay. Two. Doesn't quite feel like the best choice here right now, though. Um. No, it's not. It's right here. Better than nothing. Gatemaster! Get fucked. Politely, of course. And you... Get to stay up here for a while. And you can work your way around the wall. Yeah, look, I'll take the damage and you'll take the miss. It's fine. Oh, 
At this point, the plan is for Lazel to use Gif Yankee's Sonic Jump and move across to the other Game Master. Just to shut down the overwhelming aggression before it becomes too potent. We have plentiful healing. That's great. And then go stand here next to this one, please. Thank you. Now. You'll do. Not perfect. But I'll take it. And then, is it? It's common. You'll have to pardon the true disengage. Like a true Gif Yankee warrior. With a death wish and half health. Ish. She's actually only eight points off half, so yeah, pretty close. Oh, who's this? Come on, Mage Slayer. What's wrong? Right. It's okay. <laughs> Let's try not to rejoice too soon. The gate is down, regardless. Okay. Guess what? We have spells. They have names, like... Spirit Guardians. Oh, we're really low. Okay, well, we'll just use that. My faith will protect me. Too far. Okay, fine. Red in tooth and claw. Um, you know what? I think we need it. What flies? Hey, that'll do. Now. Oh, really? That could be a problem. Didn't we? Oh, no, no, there we go. Yeah, that's good. Also, hit it with violence. require our assistance very soon. 
energy to prevent the parries. Oh, you. I got to use the shield of defender's ability. That is rare. Oh, game, you really are being nasty, aren't you? Okay. Well. We'll just have to make it work. Again, Lazelle is too far away for us to help. Um, we will provoke if we go further, but if we go this way ever so slightly. There we go. Excellent. Need to act fast. Now, she does need our help over there, so if we run this way, we probably lack line of sight, but we must try. Yep, thought so. Ow. Okay, what was that? That was good, whatever it was. Also, we have potion. Not that it'll amount to much. Uh, that... You know what, actually? Terrible. <laughs> okay, fine. Right. So let us... Do we have a multi-attack? No. Action bonus, sure. Angry Alder. Oh, very dangerous, okay. Didn't quite work, but look at the health on it. That's a problem. If only... I mean, so is that now. Lightning. There we go. Someone nearby needs help. We can't get everyone, but we can get someone. Can we get up here? Yes! Screw your crossbow. Look who needs help. Big time. Better than nothing. Don't say we never give you nothing, lady. Oh, the pain. The hit points. And hopefully a little more pain. Oh, fine. Um, all of the shit out of this, hopefully. Oh, that's terrible. Let's do it again. Much better. Oh, third time? Don't mind if I do. Right. You'll pay for that. I mean, not half as much as we will, the way things are currently going. I mean, at this point, enemy attacks are just so accurate that we require insane amounts of healing to power through. Right. 
speaking of insane and amounts and oh yeah look um I won't give in let's just go stand here for a bit can't give up not now um you are no mercy yes May regret this. Don't make me regret this. Lovely. Not quite so lovely, okay. Oh, harsh. Didn't even play an attack animation. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Right. Speaking of hurt. And then gotta shut down one of these crossbows you well you're the back you'll do mine. that was terrible let's block her in though take the attack of opportunity at this moment we need crowd control we need to be reducing the amount of enemy attacks coming our way we don't have a lot of options for that right now. But it's nice to see them actually missing for a change. We could do a little more of that. You know what? Away from the others. Perfect. Talk to me. Ish. Need you. Oh well. We can still heal. And should. Take your heal. Things are going well up here on the balcony. They shouldn't be. Bloody hell. Right, okay. Eleven. Well, hello there. One, two, three, and one for you as well, mate. takes out an enemy attack. Uh, right, yeah, look at that. Um, well, we can reach this one. What's this? Well, we can reach this one. For the I said. Fallen. Third time's the charm. Okay. Oak Father, ease my way. I'll need to check her skills, because she might be able to turn back into a healer at this point. Keep us all on our feet. Camp, send that to camp, save me picking it up later, and charge a crossbow. My hand. Excellent stuff. Now, we kind of don't want it, but we do. I was trying to eat up the parry. We're running low on slots. Let's save it. Love it. Still love it. Not quite so enamored of this. That's better. Serene she might be, but nature has claws. Chain knockback. Didn't know I'd be doing that, but. I'm all for it. At this point, wonder if the gods are watching me. We'll just see how it goes up here. So try and eat the parry. 
didn't work. Um, go big. Take two. Just in case it keeps her on her feet a tiny little bit longer. Oh, have your free hit points. Then lose four. <laughs> For the fallen. Can I? Nature servant and yours. Close enough. These boots have seen everything. Let's end this. Question is, and I think I've answered it already. First, I'm oh, clicking that button. Rest. Now. Wonder if the gods are watching me. It's high time we plundered our fallen foes. Everything's pretty much going to camp at this point, I think. So far, not a lot of revelation going on. This still feels like a possible trap. When we we go in there and it's like a load of brains and he's like, eat all of these and become like me. These are the supplies that you could use. If it is along those lines, just know that I predicted it. Location of reserve supplies. <laughs> For night's use only, do not distribute. Buried behind Counting House, path to Baldur's Gate near Upper City. I think we'll take that. Just in case anyone untrustworthy should come in here and hello. Backless extravaganza. A raffish garb. A wizard's hat. Hoon Mausoleum Key. And why would we wish to go to the Hoon Mausoleum? That's a familiar name. We've seen Hoon before. That was a good tough encounter. I appreciate the difficulty. It's uh, interesting they gave the main antagonist extra hit points to try and make her stand around and more central, but she played so suicidally that she just lost it all quickly anyway. Uh, hmm. about the shield of Silvam. 
Thanks to Gortash's steel watchers, it's becoming more and more difficult to have eyes on what's going on in this city. Hear me out. What if we make a play to reclaim the Shield of Sylvam? If it can keep a beholder at bay, surely it can do something to get around those damned scrying eyes. Ooh, anti-magic shield. We want that. That looks like a button. It's not a button, but it looks like one. A ledger of debts from high-ranking officials in Waterdeep annotated with a handwritten comment. For favours, start at top in order of descending importance. It might be something we could hand to Councillor Floric. On the inevitability of moral decay and its benefits, I wouldn't call that inevitable. Right, so. That's curious. What is? Um. Okay, so we have candles. A fallen shield. That might be worth a look. My own now. Thank you for bringing me back. Look around. You'll find some of my things still intact. Perhaps even useful. We shall see. Oh. Oh. Scroll of Disintegrate. Picking that up to give to Gale. Hmm. What's that? Oh, this could be so risky. My old wardrobe. The home of all my disguises. We are what we appear to be, and so appearances matter. Is it actually full of disguises? Cerebral Citadel Armor. Rare heavy armor. You can't be frightened. If the wearer is infested with a mind flare tadpole, they gain plus one to intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws. Um. Is this worth giving to Lazel? Intense adamantine backlash. I'm not sure what it is. Charm or frighten the creature to gain a different one's not attached. Uh, oh, that's uh come up for now. Hmm. Still feels What's dodgy. That? A shell. A keepsake from my final voyage. Pinched in a moment of sentimentality. Hmm. Oh! It's the giant clamshell of the pearl from Divinity Original Sin 1. I understand perfectly what this is doing here. <laughs> That's curious. What is? What have you seen? Butterfork. My cutlery set. A gift from my mother. The butter knife is missing, but otherwise it looks to be complete. I don't need it anymore, but the memory stirs something in me still. There she is, in all my own glory. Jubelin Stelmane, my own partner. 
This is doing a very good job of humanising the Emperor to try and make us feel he's on our side, a decent person after all. Over there. The chains are used to bind my means. Mm. Villains and lawbreakers. You see, I tried to exercise morality where I could. Might be worth a look. An old container for brains. Empty. Mm. Shame. It would have been nice to find one to sustain me now. I'm not so sure about that. Mm. What's that? A recipe for fiddlehead soup. A favorite meal of mine. When I had need of meals like that. Indeed. Ah, uh, well, far okay, we know that one. So far, that carrot has been there a very long time. So far, a few mildly useful things, but not a massive amount. Hello. And where does this go? Probably somewhere we should not be exploring just yet. We should probably be heading back to camp soon. Just on the off chance there's something in here. Very realistic container content so far on the rotten eggs. This place has been abandoned for some time after all. Okay, nothing too special there. Not even gonna touch that. that manky old lemon. A terrible state that's in. Blech. Um, okay. That was a bit strange. I'll take that though, it might come in useful for camping. Uh, pile of sacks, no. Right. So I'm gonna suggest we head out here into the center of the lair. Might be worth a look. Oh, hello. Oh. My old sword. My first purchase as an adventurer. No use to me anymore. It's yours, if you want it. Well, it's magical. Shapeshifter Slayer. Okay. This weapon deals an additional 1d4 damage against shapeshifters or polymorph creatures. And we do have polymorph spells. Magical durability. The wielder has a plus 2 bonus on saving throws against spells. Great stuff. And it's a plus 2 weapon. That is a very good... That was the first thing you bought. How much money did you have? We're not encountering undead as much anymore. So this feels like a good item to be equipping right now. With that though, I am going to end the episode because I think I've been playing for quite long enough at this point. I hope you've all enjoyed this episode, somewhat lengthy though it may be, and I'll look forward to seeing you all in the very next one. I'll say goodbye for now though and cheerio everyone. See you all soon.